Guys, let's put it into black and white for once and for all. You never leave a game early. And yesterday's Iowa game is a perfect example of why. Now, that game was over. And the writers are about to hit send on their stories. But then Hawkeyes started shooting like they just picked up the laser-sided laser sniper rifle in Call of Duty. Caught fire, tied the game, went to overtime, won it. And the fans, who had the good sense to stay, will talk about that game for years. That is why you don't ever want to leave a game early, unless you do. <laughs> I was at the Iowa State game yesterday, and there were plenty of fans leaving early. I wasn't one of them, but I seriously considered joining them. Now, Iowa State was down 12, but it might as well have been 100 because their shooters couldn't hit a donkey with a banjo. <laughs> so fans were headed for the exits, didn't want to fight the traffic. I mean, sometimes you just know, unless you don't. Make sense? Yeah, I listened to Dolph and Bobby while I was sitting in that god-awful traffic outside Hilton. And I could hear their spirits rising up as Iowa chipped away at that lead. Iowa hit more three-pointers in the final 40 seconds of regulation than Iowa hit in all the regulation. They got it done, and that's why you never say die. Except for sometimes <laughs> when you can, like, totally say die. Like that Iowa State-Oklahoma game. I mean, you can say die, dead, dead and buried. A critical part of the second half, and the Cyclones made one field goal in 14 minutes. Their leading scorer missed all 14 shots, including all of his threes and all of his free throws. Sometimes you gotta just man up and admit defeat. Leave early. Miracles aren't real. Not sure how much more clear I can be about that. I mean, you know, unless it's one of those situations like you and I had in the tournament a few years back, Texas A&M, I mean, honestly, that's why it's never over until it's completely over. Unless it's one of those games where it is completely over, like Iowa's football game at Illinois. They're only down three with almost three minutes to play, but Spencer Petrus is moving the offense like an apple cart with square <laughs> wheels. And you're like, yeah, this game is over and you couldn't be more right. So to sum it up, if it's gonna be one of those games with an incredible finish, try to find that out early. <laughs> If it's not, and there's between a 10 and 90% chance that it's not, go ahead and feel free to leave early. It's perfectly understandable. I'm Andy Fails, and that's what's bugging me.